Prince and Prince, but you also want props. Prince and props. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Prince and Props. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and make a quick video reviewing some filament that I recently got that I really, really like. And the filament is this PC PBT from Push Plastic. Um, this was only $29 for a, I believe, 750 gram spool. It is a specialty filament, so you don't get quite as much as you do when you buy your regular um, PLA and ABS. Um, but this filament is amazing. Uh, it's PC slash PBT, which means it's polycarbonate slash polybutylene terephthalate, I believe the chemical composition. I could be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, anyway, so the stuff has pretty much a lot of the same properties as polycarbonate, but I believe the PBT makes it a little easier to print. Um, I printed this stuff at 270 degrees on my modded uh, DaVinci AIO printer um, from XYZ Printing. Uh, printed at 270 degrees on the hot end and 110 degrees on the bed with a PEI sheet at 0.2 millimeters. And this here is what I printed. Let me autofocus here. Sorry for the noise. This here is what I printed. And it is um, a X-axis belt tensioner. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Oh, well. It's an X-axis belt, uh, belt tensioner for the Da Vinci series. And... It came out really nice. Uh, print quality is pretty good. I'm having a little bit of Z-wobble problems with that particular printer right now, but that should be resolved uh, anytime. But um, I set the support separation layers to two on the top and one on the bottom. That's because this stuff has insane layer adhesion. Like, better than PLA, better than ABS, better than pretty much any filament I've ever seen. So, um... So you want to uh, make the separation between your support a little bit more. Um, otherwise, it won't want to come off without using an X-Acto knife. But anyway, uh, if you look here, you can see this stuff is just crazy strong. Like, I'm trying to get it to squeeze it down. And it works. And I'm even, I've tried to break, break this part off here. And literally as hard as I possibly can, I cannot get these layers to break. And that's even, I'm pulling it upon the weak point usually, um, because interlayer adhe inter adhesion is always a problem, but not with this filament. It seriously is so, so, so crazy strong. Um, and it's relatively easy to print. So if you have an all metal hot end and a PEI sheet um, as your bed surface, I would definitely recommend picking up some of this filament. It's a great filament for... Uh, tapping, drilling and tapping. Uh, it's a great filament for uh, making printer parts. Um, basically, anytime you need really, really crazy strength and ultra, ultra rigidity, um, this filament's going to be excellent. So again, that's Push Plastic PC PBT. Um, I'll put the link down in the video description uh, for this stuff, and uh, you should definitely pick it up. It's in the U.S., so um, they get have free shipping throughout the entire U.S., I don't know what the shipping situation is for other countries because I'm in the U.S. But anyway, definitely give it a try. Um, I suggest using the white because that doesn't have any pigment in it. And anytime, any, any kind of filament that you can get that doesn't have pigment in it is always going to be easier to print than the stuff that does have pigment in it because pigment can actually affect the chemical properties. So anyway, give it a try. Let me uh, know what you guys think about it in the comments. And uh, if you like this video and you'll see more filament reviews, 3D printer reviews, that kind of stuff, um, hit all the little YouTube buttons down there. And uh, also feel free to hit the bell icon to be alerted every time I upload a new video. Because I'm sure you don't want to be missing any of this stuff, right? So anyway, thank you guys. Have a good one. And I will see you next time.